Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Going Medieval Strongvale. So, last episode, we finished off pretty much everything, and we just need to get the corner towers, and the entire design is done. We also stocked our cellar with an absolute ton of ice. So, in the summer, our food is not going to spoil as quickly. Now, each one of these shells can carry 150 at max. Here, let me find an example. Yeah, 50, 50, 50 each level of the shelf. So shelves are extremely valuable. I'm actually not putting anything on the floor because I think I'm just gonna fill it full of ice, but we're we're there. We are at that point where I probably don't need any more storage than what I have because we're not even able to eat all that food. So there's really no point in, in uh, driving these people crazy. We got the, the, the plaza gardens done. Yes, and then we got our ice making machines outside. It's actually colder outside usually than it is underground for the majority of winter. So it has to be under 32. So you can see now that winter it's getting warmer. We're going into the new season. And you can see that the ice is able to keep this stuff pretty good. Now ice melts faster and faster as the temperature goes up, of course. Um, as long as it's under 33.8 though, it only has a 0.18 uh, degradation. Once it goes above 37, it starts to really start melting. So we can see at the current temperature, it's gonna last for 45 days. So that means like we'll be able to keep our food pretty, pretty dang cold for a uh, pretty sustained period of time. We can see here that this is never, none of this is ever gonna decompose because we're able to keep the temperature so low. So that's pretty sweet. We have an enormous amount of, man, why do you keep failing? Sorry, I'm trying to train this dang dog. He has the best animal handling out of anybody. Uh, I'm gonna take people who don't have good skills off animal handling and only the best, only the best. Oh, he has 24 animal handling, cool. 18, okay, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be going Going into some serious animal handling stuff now that's that's more than enough i think but yeah not everybody here has really high botany either that's construction row okay cool yeah i feel like people are for the most part are doing what they need to be doing it's there's a lot of tasks on hand right now we have you know just an absurd amount of resources in certain areas but we don't need anything but wood at this point i did ask that they go and capture some wolves so we can turn them into dogs i believe also trying to get a, a cow right now we got our massive animal pen over here, and we have enough hay to feed them for like the next 40,000 years, so I'm not really worried about food supply. You get so much hay from this barley, it's kind of insane. One one barley yields like three barley and 12 hay per plot, so uh, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, we should definitely harvest these and start replanting. We, we lost a lot of our of our red current shrubs during the winter and hopefully going forward we'll be able to store a bunch of them in the cellar and keep them now that we have ice all right yeah we got a lot of ice blocks up here too even those will melt pretty quickly and lots of other stuff i'm pretty stoked about the two armories that we have now though they're pretty much stacked to the gill slash not stacked to the gill but it's amazing how how organizing things declutters your storage. We have more than enough weapon racks and armor racks for everything that we're getting. And so far we have two people with heavy crossbows. We have Scott and Blind with heavy crossbows and they are killers. They can pretty much do 75% of someone's HP with one shot. No matter like what kind of armor they're wearing, so they're pretty they're pretty vital. We're also getting attacked by a little bit more sophisticated enemies, so... But overall, we've got our banners up. Everything is looking pretty pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to the, the, the winter being over so that we can actually see what everything looks like a little bit better. Although it does it does look really cool in, uh, you know, in the winter. It's not a bad... It's not a bad look. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I like the, the screenshot mode. Take some good pictures. But this is basically what we're working with. Toggle the UI off. Take pictures from all different angles. And this is... This took a bit of time to, to build. You know? A bit of time to build. I've seen some screenshots of what other people have built. But they spend months on those, those things. I've spent probably several weeks on this. And right now we just need to get enough wood... There you go, and then that's going down. We'll do this one going up. All these are designed just a tad bit different than the last. 
but overall, same principle. And then on this part, we've just been doing an overhang. And then doing wood merlins. And then just one corner merlin. Tie it all in. And that's been how I've been designing those with the lip. I like the lip. I think it looks pretty sleek. Sleek, slick. There we go. Always good when you can finish a build. But this game just has a lot of infinite replayability because you can always try something different, something smaller, something bigger. There's absolutely no limitations. There we go. All right, we'll get these built out. Wow, they're they're making good progress. It's looking pretty good. And I think we have just enough wood. I'll send my send my dogs out to get more. I'll probably steal this deer carcass because meat's good for you too. The wolves kill a lot of deer, and I you can just go around picking up the bodies. Settler's wound needs tending. I think someone tried to tame a wolf and did not work out, or they fell in something. Okay, Allison. Oh, nice. We're shearing the the wool off of that. Nice. We got, so we get wool from sheep. That makes sense. I, I thought so. I never. I try not to assume though. You never know if certain mechanics aren't implemented in the game yet. Yeah, I mean, this game's in early access still. Been in early access for quite some time, but they've made enormous strides in content in the last year, I think. Alright, the infirmary, the infirmary is at least working as intended. Alright, and we're building some of the shrubs out. Oh, nice, we got the cow. I think we're going to try to domesticate the cow. Although, you know what, I actually don't want to domesticate the cow. Because I, I want it to stay in here and be milked. Dog, though, we definitely want to try to train so that we can use it for hauling. We'll have three haul dogs. I also found out what, what the cartographer thing does is it opens the region. You can send caravans to people. You can't do anything with the people you're in hostilities with, so that would be cool if we could attack people. But I don't really have any need for trade. Like, I might need some animals, but I'm not necessarily wanting to send anybody outside on caravans. It have taken too long to get everybody there. And they're happy enough. They would get a bigger happiness modifier if they weren't, but I think for the most part, people are mostly upset about seeing the dead bodies and their clothing suck. But that's my fault for working them so hard and not letting them focus on those things. But yeah, we're starting to see. I guess we should stop training the sheep too. We should just focus on things we actually want out and about. These, these are farm animals, so we'll just keep them in the farm. The apples are probably one of the most overpowered things in the game to be quite honest just the amount of and beets beets are pretty awesome because you have 2400 apples just from a row of trees and the apples when they're done with, with their their lifespan you they cut down for wood which is awesome and you get a sapling so you replant it so they're pretty much it's like an infinite source of food whereas the berries you need berries to replant them. I mean, you get enough You get enough easily to replant them, but the apple tree literally is infinite. It's an infinite. You never have to worry about seeds. You never have to worry about any of that stuff. Because, like I said, once you cut it down, you get the sapling. And you, like, you get sticks and wood, so it's also a fuel supply. If I were to do this again, I would potentially... Um, remember what I told you? Like apple, So apple trees will occasionally seed the area around them. So if I were to do this again, I'd probably do this like in a square row pattern, like an orchard basically, and they would naturally just kind of fill that area. When you do it like a line, since they can only, you know, fall into the one tile next to them, it's a lot less. But if I have a tree here, it can it can start a tree anywhere around it, so it would have been a lot faster. 
Like base here, let me even just show you what I mean. I would just like spring is here, cool. Because we can definitely do it. Copy. So like if you do it like this. Right? And rows. Every tree here has a chance to hit one of these trees here. So if I were to do the middle row here first, it, it would have a huge chance of starting new trees. It would be a lot faster than this. This is take this took a bit. But I wanted it like this because I think it looked I thought it looked good. But yeah, starting tree planting an orchard would probably have been better than berries. Berries are great early game, but I didn't actually realize how awesome apple trees were. So I may have been a little bit more proactive. But you would have to start this relatively early in the game to in the later point of the game have an active orchard, but it would feed your village forever, pretty much. And you don't have to you only have to plant it once every five years versus like these crops. Where you have to harvest, then replant. But yeah, we can do another apple orchard there for sure. Cool. We got that guy up. That guy's almost up. Alright, draft everybody, send him here. And then once I know I have everybody running to a centralized point, then I start putting because you just never know if they're gonna have a pathfinding error or something. Trying to get up into the defensive location, so put blind, put Carl, put Henrik up here, Isabel up here. I'm gonna put May, put Meh, North Home, Queen Eye there. I want Scott right here. I guess I'll put Ted up here. And then Vakti, who is an Eli who have never had to fight like in a bajillion years, will go on the backside for Malie. But we got two people with crossbows, so they're, um, they're, our enemies are walking into hell, basically. And they gotta swim over. There's a lot of them, though. And I'm just praying I can get everybody inside in time. Some of them are pretty far out. Just gotta make sure I don't have anybody running around. Because if they get they get caught outside the confines, they're gonna get wrecked. Okay. And sometimes you have to click on the Merlin itself for them to do it. They don't seem to want to do it up here. And that's fine. Yeah, they seem to be fine. But yeah, if you do that, then they get a little bit better defense, I've noticed. Alright, so we got Scott with the heavy crossbow. We got Blind with the heavy crossbow. And as you can see, look at the radius. Look at the freaking radius they have. And they're up on the Merlin like that. Alright. Fortunately, I have kind of a Looney Tunes maze design for these people. I don't know why... They, oh, they can't go that way. This is actually a, a good thing for me to know. Because that will make my units faster going out there. Alright, so Scott and... um, Boom. That guy's done. He didn't have a chance. He just got hit by two cross, crossbow bolts. So blind. Boom. So blind hit for 75% of his health. Alright. And Scott missed... Boom, that guy got hit by crossbow for sure. <laughs> the dog's just letting everybody in. Go away, dog. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the crossbows were, were a huge, a huge killer. I'm gonna have blind focus on that dude. Boom, so you can see 75% of his health from the heavy crossbow. I'm just gonna have blind take out the battering ram dude. Boom. Man, these crossbows are nuts. I do like the mix of bow and crossbow, though, because you can see the crossbows have a decent reload time. I think four heavy crossbows is more than you need, you'd need, but it's good to have the rapid fire because it hits people and it hurts them. But now I have all this shit I have to deal with. But that's the heavy crossbow, man. I could take some. I could take a whole. If I, mm, I probably couldn't take a full plate army. If they had, if they had crossbows too, that'd be a totally different fight. We would n definitely need more heavy crossbows. All right, let's speed this up. All right, 
towers are very near completion. Got it. Uh, looks like I had a remaining oak tree thing here. Cut this down for 50. I'm actually going to tell someone to prioritize that because that's all I think I need to finish it. Cool. Power's done. Oh, wow. There it is. Yeah, they haven't. We haven't. Well, I built all these defenses and I literally cannot get past this. <laughs> They cannot get past this. Yeah, if they had crossbows. Oof. We would be um we'd be hurting. Too far from structure. That tells me that I need a support beam down here. I don't know if that's close enough. I eh, guess it is. We did it. Research needs to be completed, but we have, there's really nothing else to do at that point. We just need to fill in the the berry bushes. I can get two. Two is good enough. We need to get as many berries as possible so we can replenish our farms. I want to end this game with everything kind of built out. So we don't need any more cutting trees. I'm just going to... No one's out do, doing anything stupid. We really don't actually even need to go outside anymore. There we go. I accidentally canceled that one thing I was building, but that's fine. Perfect. Alright, so it's 35. Let's see what our sellers are doing right now. The ice, 36. How long do they have? 43 days. And how long does the food... In here have two years 22 days never 12 years okay so yeah we're not perfectly frozen but we're not gonna have rot anymore and these ice blocks are gonna last almost till winter so yeah we're gonna be in good shape okay let's do an overview of our domestic oh no 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 i just told him to hunt every animal in the game i didn't realize i could even do that that's kind of it's kind of crazy. I could, if I wanted to, I could kill every animal in the game. And just exterminate the lands. Barren wasteland. Alright, now we just need a bunch of berries. I'm actually tempted to, you know what, let's, let's get rid of that. Let's just get rid of it all together, because we, we have enough berries over here. And we have enough beets and apples that uh, the berry bushes are kind of redundant now. They're 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 great when you have nothing else going for you, but it's the land of apple trees now. We're gonna do it like that. I'm gonna make this one of the very highest priority for planting, so that I can start uh, sending off random trees to everything around it. And the best way to do this is to, we need to seed our new orchard, basically. So we can do that pretty easily by cutting down some apple trees and getting the saplings back. Five should do. I think these are also, though these are on high, cool. So it, this will be planted first, and then like I said, it will start seeding all the other areas. Oh, maybe I should have thought about that. Alright, well these bushes will be fine. Dang it, I should have let them ripe. The bushes in between will be fine. Was stupid of me. Whatever. I just wanted I just wanted it to be pretty. I don't think I have any any shrubs left anywhere else, but there'll be more. We've got we got plenty. We've got plenty coming. I wanna get these apple trees going too. The berry bushes really aren't that important anymore, like I said. And get some more wood. It looks like the corner towers are now completed. So the the base is the base is completed, and now it's just the uh, fine tuning stage. Nice twenty eight bunny. Yeah, we are getting the garden area pretty hammered down, so that's cool. We got tons of trees coming up. 
more wood than we'll need because we're not building anything anymore. I thought they were planting my trees. Appropriate ground type. Interesting. There's a weird ground type there, but we can plant shrubs on them. Yeah, th this will be definitely enough for the, uh, for the garden area. Oh, wow. We had some stuff, uh, rot. Must have been on the floor or something. Oh, nice. We got the distillery. Um, fermented mead. Yes. Fermented ale, for sure. Now let's do these in the hundreds. Fermented beers, herbs, and barley. Makes ash, though. I don't like that. Because they... I don't know what to do with ash. I think what I need to do is... Have, like, an ash pile. I'm just going to put it in the animal. Yeah. Basically, like, let's make a pile for ash. Clear all. Highest priority. And it's just going to store raw ash. Yep. And vegetable rot. And rotten meat. And bones. No, I mean, not the bones. The bones will look a little weird in the animal den. Yeah, we got a bunch of extra space. Let's just make a... Let's just make a little pile. And I'm gonna section it off, too. Like so. Nice, another cow. We'll just section it off from the rest of that, make it a, just a little decom decomposing pile. Very high priority for the waste, the waste room. There we go. 24 days it will decompose. Perfect. Start getting rid of all that excess ash. Yeah, that was, that's always been bothering me. How many we can we get? One? Alright, I'm going to let them ripen a bit more so we can do the whole thing in one go. Alright, we got... More apple trees planted, perfect. So when those start blooming, we'll we'll see more stuff popping off. I think I need to those. I don't think those will decompose for quite some time. So let's put them in the armory. Very good. Yeah, the library didn't get as full as I thought it would. It's a very it's a very mediocre library. 230, and 400. Yeah, everything else is doing great, though. The trees are... Um, we can tell them not to harvest, I think. Yeah, we're going to say don't cut. I want to I wanna manually cut these. They're just... Um, we don't really need wood at this point. Nice. And the rotting vegetables can decompose outside. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Will the bones last forever? Yeah, shit. Okay, we're gonna have to add bones, because otherwise we're just gonna have a bajillion bones. But I have a fence separating all these things out, so it's not it's not white trash yet. I don't have a, a rotting pickup truck on the front lawn, so it's not totally white trash yet. But yeah, at the beginning, on one of my last plays, if this is the first time you're watching, what I have are going to seed lines. So this is 10 tiles. That's 100 seeds of beet. And that way, with my beets, I don't have to like do something like flowering where you get five beets, five seeds. I don't have to do any of this weird stuff. I just go to ripe. So I just I grow the maximum amount of food. And I also get one seed, but you have problems where you have blights and stuff. So I overproduce the seeds and overproduce produce using this method. And I kind of ensure that I'll have seeds for next year, even if there's a blight or a cold snap that kills everything. So 
you're not always guaranteed perfect harvest. You gotta take that into consideration. But by using one line for seeds for each of the things you're planting, you're pretty stacked. Yep, this is looking pretty good. We flooded this area earlier. And then use that to create this. This is our little waterfall that fills the moat. Everything's looking pretty snazzy right now. But yeah, this was a process, man. Digging all this out and then filling it up so that it would be perfectly smooth and fine like that. It took forever. But it really did pay off. It made this place ridiculously hard to get into. I mean, there's a lot of ways to play this game. You could just have a castle that people can run up to your doors. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that either. But the water makes it so that they cannot, their archers cannot come up and mob any of your dudes. Basically, that keeps them on your terms. Matt Thor's hammer, unexpected thunder. Bad omen. And then it hit an oak tree, caught it on fire. Okay, yeah, that's that's real scary. Only if the lightning hits anything will I care. Alright, nice. Looks like looks like this is all gonna really start degrading pretty quick here. What, what about the bones? 100 bones. Two years, 33 days? Holy cow. Man, it's glitching out right now because of the loading and the lightning. This is actually this is actually a pretty sweet picture though. Yeah, as soon as these shrubs start getting more, so now they're getting to the fours. As soon as all these shrubs have fours on them, I'm going to harvest them. And then we can start planting the garden. It looks like we ran out of cabbage and herbs. That's not good. We ran out of herb seed. I thought I had an herb patch over here. No. You had beets and you had apples. Oh, that's right, because herbs don't have, um, they only have ripe, you get two seeds, so, yeah, if you screw up there, you're in bad shape. Alright, we have 94 limestone blocks. I, um, I'm kind of tempted to make this, this area look just a little bit more official. Just gonna start filling stuff in. Looks like we need just a tad bit more limestone. I think we could probably get some limestone a little bit closer than we, we've been getting it from here. There we go. Much faster to get to that. If I had it access to any closer limestone though, I wish I would have had more resources over here where I made the bridge. I think in the future maybe I should have made the... Br I should have done it over here, but... Because there's a lot more resources outside. But it didn't have... I like the river. Honestly, I like the river coming through here. I could easily flood the valley, though, if I wanted to. Right now. I could destroy this. And flood this whole lower area. Cool. Now we got our, our field out here. Guess I'm gonna have to allow these so I can get the stick those sticks out of there. And we'll need a little bit more limestone to finish that off. Yeah, I thought I would just get that going. Alright, we got four. We got fours here. Let's do it. I think that's more than enough. Hopefully they don't eat it. Hopefully they do what I want them to do with it. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. That looks a little bit better. A little bit cleaner. Alright, 57. That should be more than enough to start planting. No dog, no! The dogs came and took it. <laughs> I'll probably eat it, with my luck. Nice. 
Nice, rough wine. Nice. We got um two female cows. Oh, I was hoping to get a male. You can get a lot of meat off these cows. And since you can't eat hay, there's really no point in not having animals. Alright, let's see if this merchant has anything at all that I could use. He might actually have limestone. Oh, we finished. Cool. We should still buy limestone if we can, though. That's the only thing I'm really interested in. Herbs. Oh, we have lots of herbs. I'm not giving him my dog. Wow, he really doesn't have much. His mead... Dude has mead, herbs, cabbage seeds, bread. Wow, we never made bread. I bet we make that from wheat, but I never did a large quantity of that. He has nothing. He doesn't even have gold. They're the worst traders ever. I think I'm actually going to pick these sticks up just because they're really bothering me. It, look, it looks ugly. I want to clean this up. Other than that, though... Everything is looking pretty sharp now. Yeah. Apple trees are way more OP than I realized. I had no idea they grew so well. The bushes are fantastic, though, too. They're, but Like I said, what I like about the apple trees is you only have to cut them down like once every five years and you replant it once. But the bushes, it's kind of the same thing, actually. But, um... As you can see, the bushes can die off, whereas the trees can survive the winter. And every time you cut one down, you get a sapling uh, to replant everything. And you get wood. So it's not a bad... It's it's kind of superior in that regard. I think in the future, I'll, I'll mass spam the orchards instead. Beets, though, man. Holy cow. Beets are pretty crazy. So are carrots, though. Yeah, carrots, you get 14 in one. Pretty good. And barley is pretty nuts. You make a bunch of beer and feed your animals at the same time. It's a good combo. And we're making med kits. Nice, we have 18 of 20 healing kits done. I don't have disinfectants, so... I wonder if you make disinfectants from like some of the other stuff. I didn't see, I didn't see too many options. We have a lot of people doing too many things. I have him on construct. I really need to take a lot of these guys off of that. I have a lot of people on um, those things, but entry three, no. Just need to clean it up a bit. There we go. Now hopefully, yeah, we got Scott doing the farming, so we should get the maximum yield. Hopefully we should be able to get this whole garden up now. Well, it looks like they're over here getting that limestone. Good. Yeah, you always want to have a good haul of that stuff. Let's make sure nothing gets down there. Nice. Very nice. Things are really starting to come come together. Nice, five. I'm gonna get this garden up. Cool, we got one of the gardens up. I actually don't know if I put shrubs here. Yeah, nice, I did. Cool. There we go, the garden. The garden kill zone. So if they come in here, I'll kill them in my garden. If they manage to get through all of these doors. Honestly, they can't. The only way they could is if they had range superiority and they force me off this point into a, a back point where I could engage them again. That's the only way they would ever be able to get through these doors because I'll kill anybody trying to get through these doors with my current setup. Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to get through this. If they brought... I actually kind of like this setup too. But yeah, if they brought like 40 dudes, then maybe? And 20 of them had bows? <laughs> and even then, maybe not? But we have we have a ton of archer space up here in a much higher zone, so 
let's take blind for for instance. Let's put him up here. Up here in the tower. Yeah, he can shoot all the way down onto this. Let's they were able to get in, they would pretty much be dead as soon as they walk through that door. My defenses are like way overkill for normal difficulty. They might even be overkill for a harder difficulty. But I'm trying to do a um, chill playthrough. I've tried it on hard several times and it's pretty frustrating. You just really, you really can't get weapons fast enough uh, to counteract what's sent at you. You pretty much end up dying or hiding. I'm trying to run out the uh, the clock so that they run away, but they usually do so much damage by then. Hard to recover. All right, so the ice blocks. That was one of the other ice blocks, though. I think the one that was a normal storage. Cause yeah, these still have 26 days, and the food has one year, nine years, 17 days for the carrots. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll still have some. Things decomposing, but for the most part, we're, we're food rich. I'm gonna harvest these guys too. I'll harvest the trees, I'll harvest everything. I wanna get this thing done. Oh, nice. We got one more person we can't let in. Medicine. Construction. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him. Gerald, it is. Hopefully, someone's gonna go help him. Medicine 14. Should be you. Okay, I'll have him go pick him up. He's not too far, but he's pretty far. Luckily, we have medicine kits now. All right. I'm going to put these dudes on priority haul. They're uh, making my place look ugly. Almost got the whole garden done. Two. Two is good enough. Harvest. Harvest them all. And you get sticks. Yeah, it's a good combination. Like, I think... Like I said, the apple, you get sticks and wood, so it's a good combination. We should be able to get the garden pretty much fully done. It would have been actually cooler as if I did trees in the center section right here. Add some kind of contrast. But again, I want it to be clear. I don't want anything blocking shots. Or if I could have found that stat... I know I built a stone statue, but I was never able to find where the hell it is. Um, I went through everything. We have, I, I definitely have hoarding problems because the amount of resources I have is pretty extreme. I guess what I could do is, um, priority haul it to, uh, just, if I can put storage down, if I can't find it, I can make them find it, clear all, and then I can, I can look for it. Large statue, wood and limestone, and then I can give it a high all in priority, and then I can let them find it for me. Since I can't find it, that's what I'm going to do. So we'll just priority haul it here, and then we can set it up. This would actually be a good spot for a statue. That's where I'll put the statue. You can actually change th these, but I, I don't find that the other variations look very good. And hopefully one day I'll get my statue. There we go. That's what I needed. The bush, yeah, the bushes between the apple trees isn't a bad combination either. I was gonna do like a wicker lining, but that looks pretty good too, huh? You can. It's pretty easy to overproduce food once you get a bait. Like the beginning of the game is the hardest. The first winter is the hardest to get through. But once you have the ability to survive any winter, it's it's really easy to survive. This game kind of when it's loading stuff like that. All right, so here it is. Here's the statue. It was a box. There we go. We'll put the statue right there. Our beautiful statue. Need to clear the area first. Flawless limestone statue. Of me. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Of the king. All right, look at that. Get the garden done. All right, Allison is doing it. Got all those ugly sticks off of our area. Boom. Beautiful. That's pretty cool. It's just a dude with the sword, no face. I like it a lot. Yeah, we did a lot. The apple orchards. 
Well, this was a ton of fun. I I mean, there's nothing left to do. I've, I've done everything. I've shown you how ice blocks work. So this is going to be the end of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very long series. Going Medieval is a fantastic game. You should definitely check it out. I do not think you'll be disappointed. It's pretty, I think it's like 20 bucks. It's pretty cheap and it's still in development. So there's more content to come. So anyway, have a great rest of uh, your day.